Hello students and welcome back to our class. We are finally done with our sexual self. Okay, so in this video, we will focus naman on our third lesson under chapter 2, which is material self. So, syempre, alam nyo na, you know the drill. Learning outcomes muna tayo. At the end of the lesson, the students should be able to develop understanding about material self. Ano ba yung material self? Describe the basic components of material self. Discuss the influence of media in material possessions. And develop the qualities of wise buyer. Siyempre, in times of 11-11, diba? 12-12, Nazada, Shopee, Zelora. Hopefully, we can be wise buyers. But again, let's do our activity. So, activity 3.1, debit card challenge. Okay? So, a very wealthy person gave you a debit card and told you to use it as much as you want to make yourself happy. What are you going to do with it? Make a list of what you want to have. Write as many as you want. Okay, so that will be our activity. Ang mag-imagine na meron tayong unlimited financial resources to buy anything we want in the world. It could be small, okay? I don't know, whatever you want. Or it could be huge. An airline, for example. Or yung manok na walang tigil sa pagtilao. Pwede rin naman. Okay? So, think about it and list down everything you want. So, after that, after you look uh, you look into your list, kung ano, what made to your list. Ano yung mga nilista nyo? Ano yung mga nilagay nyo? I want you to answer the following questions. What do you feel about the debit card challenge? Were you happy thinking of all the things you could possibly have? Diba? Without any limit? Sana tumatahimik din yung manok. Okay? Which among the items in your list do you like the most? Why? Identify just one. Doon sa mahabang list mo, ano yung pinakagusto mo? At bakit? If you were ever given the chance in real life to have one among the list, which one would you choose? And why? Kung bibigyan ka ng chance, di ba? In real life, makuha mo yung isa doon. Ano yung pipiliin mo? And lastly, is your answer in number 3 different from what you answer in question number 2? Why or why not? And it's possible. Okay? Pwede yung pinakagusto mo doon sa list is not what you would choose to have in real life. Okay? It could be Gusto gusto mo talaga ng something that would make you happy. Pero you would rather choose something for your family. It could be possible. Okay? Things like that. And I want you to explain why. So, ano ba yung material self? Okay, what do we mean by material self? Tapos na tayo with the physical self and the sexual self. Now we go to material self. According to William James, Material self daw is the sum total of all he call his. Lahat ng pagmamayari mo. Not only his body psychic powers, but his clothes, his house, his wife, and children. Medyo anti-feminist ata yung term kasi. Man and wife. But anyway, that's how we define the material self. Okay? Your clothes, your, your house, your family basically. Included then the ancestors and friends, his reputation and works, lupa, pag mayaring lupa, his yash, his bank account, all the things that give him the same emotion, all the uh, possessions he has. If they wax and prosper, he feels triumphant. If they dwindle and die away, he feels cast down. Not necessarily in the same degree for each thing, but in much the same way for all. Ano ibig nang sabihin dito? Nawalan ka limbawa ng ballpen, nalungkot ka. Pero mas nalungkot ka nung nasiraan ka ng cellphone. For example. Okay. So, 
In both cases, you feel something, okay? But on different levels. Yun yung sinasabi ni William James in terms of material self. When we talk about material self, basically, we talk about our possessions. And based on that, sabi, we are what we have. Okay, kung ano yung meron tayo, ano yung binili natin, ano yung gamit natin, it can describe who we are. Ano ba yung priorities natin? Ano ba yung gusto natin? Diba? We, do we want branded clothes? Or okay na tayo sa okay? Diba? It describes our personality. So, we are what we have. So, in terms of material self, basically, it's composed of four things of different layers. May different layers ang material self. On the outermost layer, we have our home. Okay? And then we have immediate family. We have our clothes. And then we have body. So, wala natin with the innermost layer or innermost part of our material self. And that is our body. So, intentionally, we invest in our body. Bakit? Because we are directly attached to this commodity that we cannot live without. Diba? Without our body, wala tayo. So, the tendency is that we invest on our body. We strive to make sure that this body functions well and good as much as possible. Ayaw natin. Sino bang may gusto na nagkakasakit tayo? Diba? Kasi tayo rin yung mahirapan. So, we invest. Any ailment or this uh, disorder directly affect us. We do have certain preferential attachment to or intimate closeness to certain parts of our body because of its value to us. So, different people, meron tayong different preferential body part. Limbawa, for certain people, of value sa kanila yung vocal cords nila kasi that's um, their source of income. O kaya, in some cases, yung body nila, and when I mean body, yung um, yung whole body. Okay? For example, for a model, that's important for them. So, they invest in their physical body. What else? There are certain people na importante sa nila, for example, ang kamay. Kasi I've watched a video kung saan siya isang hand model. Ano ibig sabihin pag hand model? Yung mga commercial, na may hawak na cellphone, may hawak na kung ano mang product, siya yung uh, model for that. So, importante sa kanya yung kamay niya as a source of income. Okay? So, may kanya-kanyang tao, kanya-kanyang preferential body part because of different attachment. Pwedeng, gusto mo, sa picture, oh. gusto mo yung cheekbone mo or yung cheeks mo. di ba? Okay, I don't know if you know her. Sana naman. Okay, there are people who get their body parts insured. Siyempre, merong insurance din for our body, for our whole body, for our whole person. Pero, there are certain people who get their certain body parts insured. For example, we have Mariah Carey, who reportedly insured her vocal cords and leg, legs. Yung legs niya, it is reported na insured for 500 million pounds. Okay. Si Rihanna naman, legs din yung insured sa kanya. These are according to some reports, nothing confirmed. Okay. Pero for 1 million pounds naman. Julia Roberts, if you're familiar with her, the girl with a beautiful smile. Okay. The woman who has a beautiful smile, laging nasa mga movies, the actress. It is reported that her smile is insured for 20 million pounds. Okay? So, ganun nila binibigyan ng importansya yung katawa nila. Next, we have clothes. Okay? So, the style and the brand of clothes becomes a symbolic significance. Kung ano yung fabric na gusto natin, the style of clothes we wear, bring sensations to the body, and can affect our attitude and behavior. <laughs> Yun yung sinasabi ko kanina, ba? Anong types of clothes ang sinusuot mo? Anong brand of clothes ang sinusuot mo? 
more on uh, preppy style ka ba or more of girly style? Diba? Are you more of comfort or style? So, it describes who we are. Kasi ano yung preferred natin, diba? Aside from that, material component of the self ng clothes under this category, pwede rin natin isama yung books, bed, money, car, house, and other things that person can call his own possession. Clothing is a form of self-expression. I don't know if you're familiar with the guy. Hopefully you are. Joey for, from Friends. Okay? We choose and wear the clothes that reflect ourselves. Our personality, our characteristics. Even the color. Merong color psychology tayong tinatawag. So our clothes um, is a self-expression. Are we happy? Are we sad? As you know, limbawa, namatayan ka, you wear black. Diba? Or white. So you don't wear colorful clothes. So that's one example. Do you agree? Diba? Anong type of clothes ba do you wear? How do you express yourself? Siyempre kasama na rin dito yung accessories natin. The next one we have is immediate family. Yung family natin are likely to shape and influence the development of self-identity. Diba? Family tayo unang, uh, sila yung unang part natin of socialization. We learn a lot from our family. Ano yung dapat at hindi dapat is what, for example. Or ano dapat yung priorities in life? Ano dapat yung role mo? Ito mga bagay na to, una nating natutunan within the family. So, yung mga kapatid natin, yung magulang natin, they are, of course, a very important part of ourself. At lahat ng ginagawa ng family members natin actually affect us. Lalo na sa Pilipinas. Okay? We place huge investment in our midget family when we see them as, ah, uh, when we see them as a nearest replica of ourself. Halimbawa, ano yung tinutukoy ko dito? Anything that they do affect us. Halimbawa, may kapatid kang nabuntis. Alam mo naman sa Pilipinas, ang CCTV natin ay mga chismosa, di ba? Nabuntis. Ah, di ba? Kapatid mo yung nabuntis. Things like that. Ang mga chismosang marites. Okay? Ano pa? Uh, minsan, pag nasa isang lugar tayo, tapos uh, may bibilhin tayo, for example, ah, Sino magulang mo? Ganun yung tanong sa atin. Ah, ikaw yung apo ni ganito. We are usually associated with our family, especially dito sa Pilipinas. So, pag may namatay, part of us dies as well. Diba? When their lives are in success, we feel victorious as if we are the one holding the trophy. One example, a year ago, I remember, Uh, pumunta dito sa baler yung kapatid ko. Kasi maghihintay siya ng result ng board exam. So, kinakabahan siya, kinakabahan din ako. ba diba? Ganun tayo. And when I knew the result, before siya, akong kumising pa sa kanya. After, uh, nung nalaman ko yung result. Sobra yung happiness na naranasan ko. Because I'm happy for my sister. Okay, at ganun din tayo. Pag may achievement yung family members natin, we are also happy. Kasi feeling natin, tayo na rin yung may hawak ng trophy. Tayo na rin yung naging successful. Ganun ka-importante yung role na pinaplay ng family natin. In their failure, we are put to shame or guilt. Yun nga yung ginasabi ko kanina, di ba? Ay, di ba yung kapatid mo nakulong? Ay, di ba yung kapatid mo ganto? Things like that. When they are in this advantageous uh, situation, there is an urgent urge to help. Ah, this one, yung video is a scene from Four Sisters and a Wedding. Okay. Kung saan, parang pinagtulungan nila yung kabit ng um, jowa nung isa. Ganun. ba? Diba? So, pag feeling natin agarubyado yung pamilya natin, we will help them. Okay? Yun yung gusto natin. And as well, pets could also symbolically define a person's identity. And they are also considered as immediate family. Could be ex an expression of one's social status, pride, and prestige. Dito sa Pilipinas, I think, 
it can be observed. I don't know why, pero for example, sa aso, yung breed ng aso parang nagiging status symbol. Pag yung aso mo may breed, na lahat naman meron, pero yung mga binibiling aso, usually nagiging status symbol siya. So, pag askal, parang medyo, medyo may ano na askal yung aso, pero some people are already breaking that stereotype. Imagine heart evangelista, di ba? Meron siyang askal na aso. At ang mga gamit ng aso niya ay daig na daig pa tayo. Yung score for thousands. Ganon. Okay. So, we actually spend money to our family, including pets. Kasi, they are also part of us. Next we have is home. Home is where the heart is, sabi nga nila. So, it's the earliest nest of our selfhood. Siyempre, nung pinanganak tayo, our childhood home, napakadaming memories doon. So, our experiences inside the home were recorded and marked on particular parts and things in our home. I don't know kung na-experience nyo yun. Ako, hindi namin kasi na-experience. Pero in some family, ang ginagawa nila, alam niyo yung merong parang height measurement na, oh, five years old, ganito ka nakataas. Diba, ginagawa nila yun, parang may measure nila. To see, gano'n nakataas, gano'n naka gano na ka, laki yung difference ng height mo. So, may mga certain parts of our houses, of our home, na nagpapakita ng personal experiences natin. For example, yung unan na gabi-gabi mo ang kayakap o kaya iniiyakan, di ba? That's part of our experience. Just like the saying, if only walls can speak, di ba? Yung bahay natin, I've already seen a lot of our personal things, okay, mga pangyayari sa buhay natin, yung mga kapalpakan natin when we were a kid, wala pa sigurong video, pero alam ng wall sa mga nangyayari when we were a kid, okay? The home is thus an extension of self because in it, we can directly connect ourselves. So, yun yung apat. We have body, we have immediate family, we have home, and we have clothes. Okay? So, paano ba tayo naapektuhan ng material possessions natin? So, regardless of how much or how little material possession people have, they are interested in material possessions. Whether we admit it or not, we are interested in material possessions. Because in some cases, kailangan din natin. We need a home. We need a roof above our head. Kailangan natin ng clothes, okay? Lalo na kung nasa malamig na lugar ka, ba? Things like that. So, possessions can be used as status symbols. Cars, house, gadgets, and clothes are the most valuable possessions because they are the most visible in the eye of the elders. Diba? Some cases, may mga tao, because they can afford, bibili sila ng dilo na worth millions. The downside, however, is because ito nga yung most visible, some people actually buy things they cannot afford. Okay? Using credit card, for example, tapos they cannot pay naman. Okay? Gusto laging uh, updated ang type of iPhone. Ano na ba ngayon? iPhone 12. May iPhone 12 na, kailangan magkaroon ako noon. May joke pa nga, di ba? Nabentahan na daw ng, ano dito? Ng, ng atay para makabili. So, may epekto yung material self natin or material possessions in our self-worth. Okay? The more expensive para sa iba, the more other people are impressed. Ay, ang yaman mo naman. Okay? Things like that. So, material possessions can be a reflection of hard work and success. In some cases naman, talaga, material possessions can be a reflection na nagtrabaho tayo. Diba? RFW, for example, they work outside of the country. Tapos, uh, they invest sa bahay. Okay? And it showed that they actually work hard. They work five uh, works, diba? Lima ang trabaho sa ibang bansa para lang makaipon. So, in some cases, hindi naman laging masama ang material possession. It shows that we have worked hard for the things we want. 
people tend to measure success through material possession. That's the downside. Though, minsan, minimeasure natin yung success ng isang tao based on what they have. Also, I remember a story na kinuwento na, ano, napag-usapan namin ng kapatid ko. Way back, na college pa siya. Sabi niya sa akin, ate, sabi ng mga klase ko ng high school, um, kasi mag-aaral siya, itutuloy niya yung college, mayaman daw tayo, kaya makakapag-aaral ako. Pero ate, alam mo sila, may bagong iPhone. And that's a true story, ha? And then, we were talking na, okay, magkaiba ng priority. For us, our priority is education. Kahit yung phone namin, ay nung time na yun, yung the, the type pa na Nokia, that's okay. Kasi ang priority namin, makapag-aral. Yung tuition niya, I think, was 5,000, 7,000. And kung tutusin, pwede nang, yung pinambili ng iPhone, pwede na rin talagang pang tuition. I mean, it's just a matter of priorities. Diba? Ano yung priority mo? Yung family mo? I mean, education of your family? Or yung material possession mo? ng, like, phones. Okay? So, magkakaiba tayo ng priority in terms of material possession. So, material possession can make people more motivated to work harder to achieve them. Halimbawa, ano bang halimbawa niyan? Ayaw mo nang magtrabaho, pero sabi mo may utang pa ako sa GSIS para dun sa bahay na pinagawa ko. For example lang, okay? Or sa pag-ibig. Ang tanging pag-ibig na meron ay loan. Okay? So, sasabihin mo, hindi pa ako pwedeng mag-resign, hindi pa ako pwedeng mag-retire. So, in some cases, people get motivated to work because of material possession. Okay? Kasi, o kaya may gusto ka. Gusto kong mabili ang, ano ang gusto kong mabili? Uh, gusto kong mabili, alimbawa, ang uh, bagong laptop. Okay? So, sabihin mo, kailangan kong magtrabaho, kailangan ko ng extra income, I need to work harder. Kailangan ko mag-overtime. Okay? Kasi nga, meron kang gustong mabili and you get motivated to do that. Okay? Defining the self by material possessions can also contribute to the feelings of well-being, including a sense of personal growth and purpose or meaning of life. So, ganun. In some cases, yung when we define ourselves by material possessions, pag na-achieve natin siya, we feel fulfilled. Okay? However, lack or loss of material possession can be disruptive to the mental health of some people. Nasira ang cellphone mo, di ba? Nastress tayo doon. Pero there are also bigger cases. For example, nasunugan. And sobrang laking material possession noon, di ba? Nawalan ka ng bahay and all your things in it. So, it can affect our mental health. Okay, the importance people give on material possessions are sometimes, uh, what's the right word? Sometimes, not really, or it's not really good sometimes, okay? The negative effect of strong desire for material possession, yun yung materialism. Okay, so materialism yung, ano ba yung importansya na binibigay natin sa mga material na bagay sa paligid natin? Okay, and that's also the negative effect ng strong desire for material possession. Sabi nga, di ba, anything in excess is not good. So, when we put too much value sa material possession, that's materialism. So, a materialistic person is someone with a high level of materialism. It's excess, or they are excessively concerned with the acquisition of material possession. Uh, this is from the movie Confessions of a Shopaholic, I think. Sabi niya, because when I shop, the world gets better. Okay. Minsan, sabihin natin, I'm so depressed right now, kailangan ko mag-shopping. May mga ganun. I I'm not like that. Pero, di ba, may mga ganong expression. So, meron din tayong tinatawag na Compulsive Buying Disorder or CBD. It's a psychological dysfunction or impairment in function caused by strong desire of material possession. Parang na, ano tayo ah, nag-stutter. Anyway, so when we talk about CBD, ang pinag-uusapan natin dito is that meron tayong strong desire na mag-shop. Okay? Even though we cannot afford it anymore. Okay? That's compulsive buying disorder. We want it, 
bibilihin natin yon kahit wala tayong enough money for that. So, do lang ipangutang. Okay? The psychologic, uh, it's characterized by an obsession with shopping and buying behaviors that causes adverse consequences. Tulad na lang ng utang. Okay? Anong meron? Ako, I don't have credit card. And credit cards are not bad. Okay? Pero alam ko, sarili ko that I don't need it. Okay? And ang rule, ang rule ko, sarili ko, is don't buy with the money you don't have. Okay? Kung may gusto ko, dapat ang pambibili ko doon ay pera na meron ako. So, debit card yung gamit ko. In some cases, may mga tao, gaya nga nang sinabi ko, ipinapangutang. Okay? Isa pa palang example, I remember, that is, I think, medyo observed in Filipino culture. Alam niyo yung mga nauuso, nagta-trending ng mga conversation between friends. Parang, Be, kamusta ka na? Mars, kamusta ka na? Yun pala mga utang. Kasi, birthday ng anak. Okay? Sabi ko nga, our material possessions are sometimes a status symbol. Hindi naman na pala talaga afford ang magandang... Uh, or ang magarang birthday celebration or ang magandang cake pero ipapangutang. O kaya sinabi, Hoy, um, magbe-birthday na yung inaanak mo, sagutan mo na yung cake, 5,000 lang. O, oh, ba? So, isa yon sa mga uh, map mapapansin natin. Materialistic people. Okay? They put premium on materialist, uh, material possessions. And their status, uh, they base their status based on what they have. Psychologists are identifying social and cultural factors that seem strongly implicated in the etiology of materialism. Okay. We are thought na to put value sa pera. Okay. In our society, pag wala kang pera, you have no value. Parang ganun yung nangyayari. Okay. We are thought na Maganda yung cellphone, dapat meron ka. That's a status symbol. Things like that. Or that we equate happiness with material possession. Okay? Nothing is wrong with needing the things that we actually need. Diba? Pero yung pag sobra na, that's what we call materialistic. Lack or loss of material possessions could lead to anxiety. Insecurity, di ba? We get insecure. Buti pa siya, meron ng kotse. Ako, wala. Okay? Buti pa siya, ang ganda na ng bahay. Ako, umuupa pa rin. Things like that. We get insecure and that's actually normal to feel. And in some cases, depression. Lahat ng mga kaibigan mo, ang gaganda ng cellphone. Tapos yung cellphone mo, the type pa din. So, dahil yung society tells us na uh, status symbol siya, ako, mayamin ako, ikaw, mahirap. You feel left out in some cases. So thus, when a person is about to make a purchase, he should ask himself or herself a very important question. And this is really important. Sa panahon ng 11-11 at 12-12, every time you're about to make a purchase, you should ask yourself this question. Anong question ang tinutukoy ko? Do I really need this? Kailangan ko ba ito talaga. Baka naman gusto mo lang. Ako, one tip I can give you. When I buy, syempre naglalazada, tsaka shopping din naman ako. When I buy, mga isang buwan sa, uh, sa cart ko, yung gusto ko. And then I will think, gusto ko ba talaga to? Worth it ba? Pag after a month, gusto ka pa rin siya, okay, it's okay to reward yourself every now and then. Okay? So that's, that's it. Uh, wag bibili until you can convince yourself na kailangan mo siya. You can always reward yourself, but know your limits. Do not spend money you don't have. So, punta tayo sa chapter 2.3 application and assessment. Balikan natin yung debit card challenge mo, yung list mo. At sa bawat item na nasa list mo, ilagay mo sa gilid. Put a mark on the left side of each item. Identify mo kung saan category siya nagpo-fall. B, if the item is related to your body. C, if the item is related with clothes. 
F, if the item is related or intended to your family, para sa pamilya mo. H, if the item is related with home. Okay? So, lahat ng nilista mo, identify mo under what category siya nagpo-fall. Now, answer the following question based on your answer sa 1. Which among the categories do you have the most in your list? Alin ang pinakamadami? Pinakamarami ba sa body, sa family, sa clothes, or sa home? Okay? Ilan? O, ilagay natin. Ilan ang lumabas per category? Now, ay na ulit. Okay. What do you think these things will tell you about yourself. Pinakamarami, for example, sa clothes. Why? Ano yung tingin mo? So, reflect on your answer and reflect how do you think uh, the list define you. Okay, sabi nga, we, uh, we are what we have or in some cases, we are what we want. Okay? So, what does these things tell about yourself? Okay, that's the end of our discussion. If you have questions, alam nyo na ang gagawin. Thank you for your time and thank you for listening. Bye class!